So, a lot of revelations. And the plan didn't go smoothly, and now we have to mop up their mess. Ah, what a bunch of amateurs. The warp got killed. It looked as if part of the ceiling had rearranged most of Warb's head. For the better? The only thing of interest on Warb's body was the charm bracelet, and I didn't want to take that back. Why not? He's not using it anymore, and it was pretty lucky. Sometimes I wondered if these ancient temples were designed to fall in on themselves at dramatic moments. Definitely. I searched the rubble and uncovered the golden falchion. The sword was bad luck, but I had a feeling it was safer in my hands than anyone else's. Well, if you combine it with the bracelet, then it just, is just neutral luck. Dun -dun -dun -dun, we have a weapon. Alright, so we have the sword. Anu Anu. For a god, Anu Anu was looking in a bad way. I tried to listen in to what Anu Anu was saying, but his voice was weak and faltering. I should have known. The inscription. I... The inscription. I forgot the inscription. Oh, you dumbass. Quiet, master. Conserve your strength. So you come into a big-ass ritual unprepared. You amateur god. Carlotta was obviously upset by Anu Anu's injuries. I guess there was a heart in that cold chest somewhere. Come on, Carlotta, let's get out of here before the rest of the roof comes down. I'm not leaving my master. He's not going to make it. You can at least save yourself. Leave us, Luton. Leave! So you're gonna go down with the... with the god? Very there well. There was something about the walls that I didn't like. Is that lava? I think it was the way they wouldn't stop swimming. Ah. I decided against touching the walls. It's probably a good idea. Well, um, good luck. You're definitely gonna die. Anything else that I should pay attention to here? Um, no. Ooh, what if I stab Anu Anu? The golden sword had already caused me a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, I got stabbed with it. I had a feeling it was going to cause a lot more before long. Examining the sword, I noticed an indentation in the pommel. It looked as if something was supposed to fit there. Oh. Like what? Like the pendant? That I don't have anymore? Maybe this coin. The golden sword. It was fine just the way it was. So the sword is not complete. I could barely hear Anu Anu's voice. In the play. It was there in the play. I had forgotten about it. I hadn't even noticed it was missing. He wasn't making much sense. So the piece in the sword was missing. That's why it fucking failed. You've got to get out of here before it's too late. It's already too late. Leave me. Fine. Hey, I tried to save the damsel. Oh, tentacles. Well, that's cool. At least Pravitier is gone now. Coom. The terrified cultist was obviously in pain and finding it hard to walk. He wasn't going anywhere. Well, he wasn't going anywhere fast, anyway. What's up with you? <laughs> Broke my stupid leg when the roof came in. <laughs> Which one are you? What? You must be Coom. How did you know that? I recognize your voice. Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't turn you over to the watch. Please, don't. <laughs> I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. So entering a dangerous cult, you, th you didn't think it was wrong? It was just a little fun, you know? No. Secret meetings and plots for world domination. I mean, it's intoxicating. 
Well, now it's blown up in your face, and at least one member of your cult is dead. Who was it? Warb. Warb. He had a disagreement with a large block of stone. The stone won. I don't want to do... I mean, I'm terrified. I, I suspect that some of the cultists might have wanted us to fail. Really? Why? I don't know. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Please don't turn me over to the watch. I didn't do anything wrong. Eight people died because of your cult. I... 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 No. I'm sorry. I should never have got involved. Where have the others gone? I don't know. Back to the sanctuary, I guess. They didn't really tell me much. I was only the novice. Maybe I was getting soft in my old age, but I couldn't escape the feeling that the poor fool was just a victim of peer pressure. Yeah, but he still got involved in everything. I guess he just wanted to belong to something, and he didn't much care what. I sympathized. In my own way. Get going. I don't ever want to see you again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this. I already do. I'd better not. Actually, can I talk to... Okay, this screen is still fine. <laughs> Even though everything kind of destroyed itself. Alright. I wonder if I can uh, talk more to Anu Anu. I could barely hear Anu. In the play. In the play. It was there in the play. I had forgotten about it. I hadn't even noticed it was missing. He wasn't making much sense. The golden sword. I had a. I could barely... It was, I hadn't even noticed it was missing. There's an inscription there. An inscription had appeared on the wall. Maybe it had been there all the time and I just couldn't read it. I wasn't sure. It seemed to say... Quad Nessiant Eos Interficit. I didn't know what it meant. Quad meant what, but that was all I knew. Okay. Hey, maybe the god knows this stuff. I could barely hear Anu Anu's voice. In the play. It was there in the play. I had forgotten about it. I hadn't even noticed it. He wasn't making... You've got to get out of here. It's... Leave... Apparently he doesn't want to talk about it because he's busy dying or whatever. Can he die? I mean, he's a he's a god. Oh, and now Coom is gone. Great. I wanted to ask him to translate some shit. And Carlotta's too distressed. And there are ten tentacles everywhere. Alrighty then. Ah, not only is uh, the Ankh stenching up the place, but now the cosmic horror is casting a green green cloud over everyone. Ah, and there's a huge octopus monster on top of the theater. Well, that's scary. Let's go talk to Nobby. Still sleeping. Incredible. Things are looking busy in here, Nobby. Yeah. I don't know what's come over everyone, but they're acting crazy. Oh, maybe the huge monster. Crazy? Isn't that a subjective term around here? What? Never mind. What sort of crazy things? People attacking each other for no good reason. And jumping to their deaths, too. We haven't seen such carnage since the rule of Lord Snapcase. We've got riots out there. And they're not even being started by dwarves. I've never seen anything like it. Good time to take a nap, I guess. It's going to get worse. How can you tell? Trust me, this is only the beginning. Does the phrase quad nescient eos interficit mean anything to you? That's one of them old languages, isn't it?
Let me see. No way. There's never much good with languages. Um, four. Uh, forget it. Have a nice day. And here I thought he would surprise everyone with the perfect translation. All right. Maybe death can translate it, although I think he's just going to say spoilers again. When I went back to the mansion, the butler had some grim news for me. No! The Count had shuffled off his mortal coil in the recent disc quake. He was sleeping the big sleep. Pushing up daisies, crossing the final frontier, booking a vacation to the underworld. Basically, he was dead. And that means death is not there anymore. Fortunately, he'd left provisions for me in his will. Really? He'd pay my way to the end of the case, and more importantly, he was allowing me to continue to use the library. Well, what did it matter to him who used the library now he was gone? When you're dead, you were sleeping the big sleep, and nothing much mattered to you anymore. All the nastiness was behind you. For the rest of us, the nastiness was still all around us. And if I didn't stop that nastiness from crushing us all under its tentacles, we'd all be sleeping the big sleep. Frankly, I didn't think the afterlife would have enough beds. All right, so I can still use the library, which is where we're going to translate the inscription. I worked out a translation for the phrase I'd seen on the wall of the sepulchral temple. What they don't know will kill them. Unfortunately, without something to cross-reference with it, I couldn't find out anything else about it. So maybe I do need a cross-reference. We've already researched everything that we have in the notebook, so we need something else. Why can I still go to Horst's quarters? I hadn't seen Horst since I arranged his meeting with Laredo. Wherever Horst was, he wasn't at his quarters. Huh. Weird. Well, we're probably gonna have to go to the sanctuary, but I just want to talk to everyone and see what, what they think about this whole business. Hey, Mamkin. Can we talk? I know I can. And you can at least make intelligible noises. Does Quad Nessie and Aos Interficit mean anything to you? You ask too many questions to be healthy in this town. Nylon Athotep was important. Well, maybe not. Did I pick up anything? Oh, the Falcon. Or the Falchion. I wasn't going to show a pri- I, I genuinely thought it was pronounced Falcon. Anyway. Well, I'll see you later. I couldn't imagine who would pay attention to the notices in a seedy dive like the parrot. But I guess they were of interest to someone. Me? I checked it all the time. Well, at least, um... At least Al Kali isn't following me anymore. Because he's dead. The Temple of Small Gods seemed deserted when I returned there. What happened to Malaclips? I could hear mad laughter echoing inside. <laughs> I was drawn to Mooncalf by his religious fervor. He was the kind of man who wouldn't miss a single event in the temple, no matter how trivial. He also struck me as the kind of fanatic who knew a hundred words for infidel, and not one for compromise. Mooncalf? Is that you? Leave this place! Be gone! All are cursed! All will be destroyed! It was Mooncalf, all right. <laughs> what happened, Mooncalf? Mother was right. I should have become a tax collector. Oh, yeah. It's good money, Mooncalf, she said. <laughs> Better than you learn with that cult foolishness. You've got to provide for your future. Now look at me. I have no future. Wait, how old is your mother? None of us have a future unless we can stop Nylon Athatep. <laughs> Don't say that name! Don't say that name!
After the summoning, the words Quadnessiant Eos Interficit appear on the walls. What does that mean to you? No. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. That temple doesn't exist! It never happened! But it did. Uh... Yes, it did. You were there. I was there. No! No, it didn't! It never happened! You're okay. I have the sword. Put it away! That wasn't the response I was expecting. It was a louder response. Leave me alone, infidel! I decided I'd better come back later when Mooncalf was slightly less psychotic. If possible. <laughs> what happened to Malaclipse? Is he gone? It's probably for the best. Be safe, Malaclipse. When I went back to Leonard's cell, it was lacking a large part of the wall. Okay. The disc quake must have taken its toll on the palace. Leonard and two conquerors were still working on the flapping wing flying device like nothing had happened. Oh, we're gonna fly at some point and have a big showdown with the monster, aren't we? Because now we can exit with the device. How's it going, guys? Just a few more questions. What is that thing? To my fl I what was the? If we can to be solving the minor, what are the problems you're experiencing? Mainly weight. If it is going to fly, it has to be light. But two conquerors had suggested using bombastic wood for the frame, which is extremely light for its strength. I have to raid one of my floating designs to get enough of the stuff, but it should work. If weight is a problem, why does it seat two people? The patrician said he would be most interested in the device if it could be used to fly two people. You don't know why? Well, he said he was interested in how far you could travel in it. Come to think of it, I suppose Veterinari might be interested in getting a long way from the city in a hurry one day. Could you fly a long distance in it? I imagine you'd get very tired. Oh, it's pedal propelled. <laughs> Still, if it were moving over a flat surface, you might get some additional lifting things up force reflected off the ground, which would mean it would be easier. Lifting things up force. <laughs> I call this the reflecting some of your lifting things up force off the ground effect. Well, it makes learning very easy because it, what it does is in the name. Hmm. Well, this is all very interesting, but it isn't helping my case much. I decided to leave. I doubted they even noticed. What other locations do we have? Cafe Ankh. Ooh. Has this place been affected? It's awfully quiet. Some ale. Mr. Luton. How's business, some ale? It's pretty good, Mr. Luton. Now that everybody, everybody's going crazy. How are things with you? Oh, you know, trying to stop cos cosmic horrors. Not so good. I think I'm so deep in trouble that I haven't even realized it yet. You haven't had much luck, have you? Not since the Hotel Pseudopolis. That was when... Oh, I see. That's so... I don't mind. You're like... Samel will probably know uh, nothing, but it's worth a shot. Does Quadnessi and Aeos Interficit mean anything to you? I wouldn't know any... Of course you wouldn't. Nylon Athetep was important. Well, Samel, you, uh, you do you, even though you've been useless for most of the game. Thanks again, Samael. No problem, Mr. Luden. I think you had some useful information once, and that was it. Oh, look who's back! It's Rodan! At first glance, Rodan looked like it on closer examine. You're back. Back? 
uh, had I uh, um, um, gone somewhere? Yeah, for most of the game. Here we go again. So you're a sculptor. Yes. Yeah, I... Why do I get the... Does Quad Nessie and Aos Interficit mean anything to you? Um, ooh, uh, ooh. Uh, uh, that's familiar. <clears throat> Rodan wasn't good at remembering details like his name or my name or what year it was. Alrighty then. You know, I don't know why they brought you back into the game, but maybe there's a reason? Do you recognize this sword? I wasn't going- No. Well, uh, let's get out of here before I lose my mind with Rodan. I don't know exactly what I hoped to learn from the Sanctuary, but I went anyway. Maybe I was hoping that all the cultists would be as easily intimidated as Coombe. I was wrong. You're very sharp, Mr. Luton. You've done a very sharp thing. Maybe even sharp enough to cut your own throat. Hey, watch it. I have a weapon. You must be Kondo. I'm flattered. How did you know? I recognize your voice. You tried to kill me with that crossbow once before. It's silver-tipped before you get any heroic ideas. The Dark Sect isn't as sloppy as the cult of Anu Anu. The Dark Sect? A cult within a cult. Cultception. We couldn't believe our luck. Mooncalf and Therma were looking for people to join their cult, and they actually wanted to summon Nile or Nethotep. Can you believe that? Do you have any idea how rare it is that someone wants to summon the laddering horror for anything other than wreaking havoc and destruction? Who's we? Oh, no, it's not that easy. Do you think I'm the overconfident villain who reveals his whole plot to the hero shortly before placing you in an overly complex life-or-death situation that you then escape from at the last minute? Yes? It might make life easier if you were. Real life isn't like the clickies, Luton. The good guys don't always win. What makes you think I'm the good guy? I don't care what side you're on, Luton. All I care about is that we are victorious and that everything is destroyed. Oh, so you just want to destroy everything. I just don't understand why anyone would want to destroy the whole of creation. If you want to die, why not just kill yourself? I'm going to achieve something with my life, Luton. And what's that? Something that no one will ever forget. No one will be left alive to remember. Everyone's going yeah. to be dead. No one is going to remember anything. And that's an achievement no one else can claim. You're insane. That's what my psychiatrist said. I had to kill him too. He knew too much, just like you. Some people say that when you're about to die, your life flashes before your eyes. Oh, he's battling a werewolf form. For me, the world seemed to go into slow motion. I told you, Luton. The good guys don't always win. Very true. But they try much harder. I'm dead, aren't I? Yes, it appears you are. Am I going to spend eternity suffering in the pits of hell for what I've done? If that's what you want. 
Oh, I can't believe I'm not going to find out how all this ends. After all the work I put into it. It's never fun being taken off a project you've worked hard on. <laughs> oh, death. Spoken so true. That's the last time I get so involved in my work. How right you are. When I came to, I wasn't sure if I was dead or alive. That seemed to be happening to me a lot. Oh, come on, man. He can't take you on. You, you were in your f werewolf form. Hello again. Hi, Death. Have you come for me? No. No. I was just passing through and I thought it would be polite to say hello. <laughs> Very polite indeed. <laughs> Isn't that what you're supposed to do with acquaintances? Of course. If you want to scare them to death. Sorry. I'm not good in social situations. It must be hard to fit in when you're a seven-foot-tall skeleton with a scythe. I'll see you later. Much later, I hope. That doesn't fill me with confidence. That, I'm afraid, is your problem. Well, we had a nice visit from death, and we killed someone. Which is a good day. Good day for everyone, except the guy that was killed. I'd killed Kondo. But at least he hadn't killed me. On Kondo's body was an amulet. It had to be worth finding out what it was, so I took it. Definitely. Da -da -da -da. Kondo's amulet has a symbol on it that looked like an eye, but an eye with three protruding lobes. Will it fit on the flying machine? I don't know how large this is. Is this supposed to go on the sword? The golden sword. No. So maybe the flying machine as a propeller. But because it's an amulet, we might as well try and look it up in the library. The symbol on the amulet was mentioned in a copy of The Joy of Sects. It was the three-lobed eye, the emblem of the followers of Nilanathotep, the so-called Dark Sect, who plotted nothing less than the destruction of the whole of creation. Party guys. Yeah, fun guys. I bet they were a lot of fun at dinner parties. So what do I do now? Do I look up Nilanathotep again? I had a look through the Necrotelecomnicon discussed for students to see if I could find any more useful information. It wasn't long before I found the phrase that had been inscribed on the wall of the sepulchral temple. Aha! Quad nescient eos interficit. It turned out to be the motto of an ancient cult, the dark sect of Nylonathotep, whose emblem was the triple-lobed eye. Well, there you go. The tome told me a little of the history of the cult. It seems the mad cultists of the laddering horror had conspired to destroy all creation, but their attempt failed, obviously, and they were believed to have faded into obscurity. I had a suspicion that's exactly what the cult wanted people to think. According to the book, the cult had a sacred artifact, a source of great power known as the Radiant Trapezohedron, which could destroy Nylonathotep or give him dominion over all things, if it fell into his tentacles. There was no description of it, although the author seemed to think it was something small. Like the sword? There was something about a cult plotting to destroy all creation that disturbed me. Oh, slightly. I had a feeling you couldn't reason with people like that. Yeah, really intense people at parties. I 
I'd learned about the trapezohedron in the Libraris Apocrypha. I wasn't really sure what a trapezohedron was. Either a geometric shape or some kind of dinosaur, I assume. Either way, it was a source of great power and sacred to the dark sect of Nylonathotep. Hmm. Is it some sort of jewel? I hadn't seen Hort wherever Hort... I thought Horst might be back by now. What if we talk about this with Rodan because it's a geometric shape? I don't know, I'm really reaching out here. No, not here. Given the trapezohedron's history, it wasn't something I wanted to discuss with just anyone. It had been a while since I'd been to the new hall, and I had a bad feeling about what Mrs. Foams would have to say to me if she saw me. Oh shit, yeah. Mr. Luton, I was wondering if you'd turn up again. Can I come in? No. You're fired. Damn. Worst bedmaker I ever hired. Listen, I have to get inside the university. There's a dangerous cult trying to destroy the city and I need to talk to someone inside. That's what they all say. Now goodbye and don't come back. That wasn't what I wanted to hear. Well, shit. <laughs> I can't go back into the university because I was a shitty bedmaker. What if I go back to the Temple of Small Gods and talk to this loony? He must know something. There's not many people left that know things. Can you tell me anything about the Radiant Trapezohedron? They always hated me. Even as a child. They never liked me. Um, about the trapezohedron. They always ruined my plans. They never liked me. Nobody likes me. I was hoping for something a little less personal and a little more useful, Mooncalf. All right. Well, that went uh, very personal very quickly. What about the amulet? This amulet is the mark of that entity that you and your cult summoned. I found it on Kondo's body. Does it mean anything to you? It means that Kondo is a traitor. Indeed. He won't be the only one. They all hate me! Wait, were you... did you want to be a part of this dark sect? <laughs> what happened, Mooncat? I decided I'd better. I do not wish. I leave. I do. This amulet is the. I find. Does it. It mean. He won't be the only one. They all. Kondo wasn't a follower of Anuano Anu at all. He worships the laddering horror. I think he might have been mad. Madness! Yes. Sweet singing in my ears. Seems to be fashionable at the moment. Now listen to me. I need to know who else might have been a double agent. Who? Who? I'll tell you who. They all hated me. Especially Foyd. Foyd? The Troll? Yes. The Troll. Oh, that's why Rodan is back. The Troll is go is gonna get a facelift or something. I never liked him. And he's gonna go to Rodan. I don't trust trolls. <laughs> Where is he now? How would I know? He wouldn't tell me. He never liked me. <laughs> Nobody liked me. Did he say anything to you? He said he was going to change his identity, make a run for it. Yes. Such a coward. I got it. Stupid <laughs> troll. What about the rest of the cult? Where can I find them? <laughs> it's too late for everyone. Nothing can save us now! Chill, man. I'll save us. Where's your faith? Don't you believe that Anu Anu is the god of gods? <laughs> no! I renounce my faith! Anu Anu betrayed me! He betrayed me! <laughs> Mooncalf jumped screaming through the stained glass window and began to climb the temple. 
I could hear Mooncalf ranting as he climbed up the outside of the temple. I give my faith to one god, and it brings about the destruction of everything. Gods are nothing but trouble. How is he scaling that? That's impressive. <laughs> you can't trust them. You can't trust them. We don't need them. <laughs> They need us more than we need them. <laughs> I'm letting atheism into my heart as my savior! <laughs> I am a born again atheist! I can't believe I survived that fall. Yeah. You didn't. Your... Oh, your <laughs> death then. You've heard of me? Hmm. I'm flattered. Oh, what were the odds that I'd get hit by lightning just as I renounced all gods? I know. Crazy, isn't it? About one to one, I'd say. You're not the first. Although I think you're the first to do it from the top of their own temple. Full marks for style. Oh, oh th thank you. I think. Don't mention it. I try to make the process as enjoyable as possible. So what happens next? That depends on you. But you've renounced all the gods, so I doubt you'll be off to any of the heavens. Or hells, for that matter. Well, what about reincarnation? I always liked the sound of that. Well, it's not really up to me. But if you do come back, can I advise you to be careful what you say on the top of religious monuments? I'll see what I can do. Do you know, I, I, I don't feel so... I don't know, so dedicated anymore. Hmm, death gives you a whole new perspective on life. I should never have become a zealot. My mother was right. I should have been a tax collector. Perhaps in the next lifetime, eh? Say what you like about Mooncalf. He knew how to put on a show. Unfortunately, he hadn't left me with many leads, although finding Foyd wasn't a bad idea. I had already a lot of practice getting information out of trolls. All I had to do was work out where he was. Thank <laughs> you.